Sports Stars Magazine here with Maya Evans. A uh, very happy group of Cathedral Catholic Dons. Uh, obviously, you got a little bit of revenge on September 7th at Dave Mose, but I know this is the one that you wanted. Uh, you wanted them at home. You wanted it in a state regional. Uh, just what, uh, what are the emotions to be able to, you know, for all the group that, w that went through the experience last year, to see that team across the net in your gymnasium and, uh, and to have it turn out this way? Definitely sweet revenge. I think we're just so blessed to be in this position, and I know we've all worked so hard. We've come to practice every day, and we had a game plan, and we just really followed through with it. Obviously, the group that, that you saw, you know, back on September 7th up in Huntington Beach, you know, had Laylee but did not include uh, Wesley. I mean, obviously, you ladies, you know, really since Durango have just been so locked in and just do what you do best. But did Juliana talk to you ladies or did you feel like you had to make any adjustments defensively uh, with, with Wesley in the lineup uh, just obviously out of respect for what she brings or was just like, look, as long as we control our side of the net, we can beat anybody in the United States. Yes, exactly, for sure. She's super talented, super physical. That entire team's really physical, so we know we knew that we had to pass really well in order to be able to run our pins and our middles. Um, we really focused on discipline blocking, and we had different strategies for defending each of the pin hitters, so I think that all worked really well. I'm obviously, uh, this group, whether it's, you know, one set sudden death, best of three, uh, best of five, like, you can go the distance uh, with uh, with anyone, uh, but, uh, but just the fact that all throughout San Diego section open and obviously you know in the in, in the two early rounds here, this group was really efficient. You know, for as as much as Modern Day did in the Southern section open, it's like two five setters and then having to go uh, to go on the road. Did, did you really feel like, hey, if we can put the pressure on this team early, you know, you know, it's it's really hard to do it at yes. this level three consecutive ma Very. you know matches like. But I mean, you know, I know this group really wanted to set the tone early, so to be able to get the first set uh, and and even jump on them the way you did in the, in the second set, like was uh, was that kind of emotionally what uh, what the tone that you ladies wanted to set? Yeah, we definitely wanted to come out strong. We know that this isn't their home; this is our home, so they're going to come out a little a little less um, comfortable. So we know that we wanted to put the pressure as soon as we could. So that was really helpful taking the first set and setting the tone. Obviously we knew that they were gonna go down without a fight, really talented group. But we, we all learned that on September yes, 7th. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But um, it really helped that first set. And then we knew they would get more comfortable and, and more accustomed to the gym. And they took a set, good for them. That was, that was well earned by them. But then we set the tone for the rest of the match. Most definitely. In terms of like the amount of people that contributed tonight, you know, Big Al was, you know, unreal. <laughs> Kensley was, uh, you know, was uh, was incredible. You know, every time you, need, you know, I mean, obviously, so many people look at you being able uh, t to control the floor the way you do, and and uh, and May and Maddie and whatnot. But I mean, obviously, it's just so many people stepped up at uh, at, at, at big times. Uh, how much has that just shown the growth of this group over the course of the season? That you know. Juliana has faith in everyone, and obviously the, the, the group that's on the floor has yeah. faith in anyone being able to step up and execute at any time. Yeah, we know that it's really important that we all um, do our own roles, and we all succeed in our own roles, and we know that if everybody does their own role, we can all do well as a team. And I think that really showed, um, showed up tonight. Obviously, we know we have our key players, but everybody can get the spotlight once in a while if we all work as a team. Awesome. Last thing, yes. obviously, this is not like a once in a generation, uh, you know, this group uh, you knows what it means to climb to the top of the mountain and, you know, be in Orange County, California and be the, la uh, the last team standing. But to do it in an era, you know, when, you know, you have a, the last two national champions that, you know, that were on the court here tonight, like to beat a team of that caliber, just to get to a matchup, whether it's against Midi or, or, or St. Francis, what does it say about just the staying power of this group? I just think it shows that anyone, anyone can do it. And I feel like the hardest working team will go the furthest and it's not the most physical and it's not the biggest, it's who wants it more. Awesome. Maya, congrats. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you so much.